4HSfootball.com here with Will Detter of the Florida High School 7v7 Association and head coach Eric Lodge of the Sanford Seminole. Fighting Seminoles, uh, your 2022 FA 7v7A state champions. Uh, first, uh, coach, uh, I mean, uh, what does it feel like? I know y'all been here before, got to the th you know got to the final part last year, I think, and uh, it, it just came down right down to the end. And uh, but this year, uh, you, fi you finally broke to the mountaintop here. So how does it feel, you know, for for your guys to be able to, to win this one? You know, anytime you're in competition, you want to win, uh, no matter what you're doing. And uh, last year, like you said, we made it to the championship game and uh, let a close one slip out of our hands. So it was good to seal the deal this year and, uh, you know, get get on the right foot going into the fall. And uh, for for you, Will, this is, I think it was this is the eighth year. I want to say the eighth year now. I mean, it's, it's it's I've been to almost every single one of them that you have had. And I mean, going back to the days when you, you it was like Crescent City back then, doing it was small. This, this thing, this thing, you know, over fifty teams this year. And uh, I mean, even even with Mother Nature's uh, shenanigans on Friday. Uh, you know, the first time that's kind of happened here in the, in the, in the eight-year history, we still managed to get a state champion this year and out of this. And uh, what, what for you, what, what was it to say, you know, for being able, this and being able to third, third year that's been this year at the Villages Polo Club? How, how are you feeling after three years now at well, this place? It's been great. The, the Villages Polo Club is a great venue, and uh, we were able to put on a, a good tournament again. Um, you know, feedback from the coaches was they had a great time, great competition. We're thrilled to crown Seminole High School as the uh, 2022 state champions and Coach Lodge and, and his crew. And, and uh, we, you know, just like he said, our goal here is to give high schools the opportunity to work hard in the off season and get better for the fall. And uh, we had some great competition out here on the field today. And uh, we're excited for the Seminole, uh, Sanford Seminole and uh, excited to see what they do in the fall. And uh, for, 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 for you, Will, you know, it's 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 been, this has been growing. And then, of course, not, not only that, but you had battle lines too, which, the, you know, they, they, they you had the record number of teams this year for I mean it keeps battle lines just keep growing so I mean how, how do you feel about that in terms of what the linemen are being able to do because I know I talked to Josh Palmer earlier and he you know he said uh, some, some new competition new things have been added this year and it was uh one of them was the truck pull which I thought like that, that that's an exciting thing to do I'll tell you what the linemen if, if anybody that was here that was watching when the linemen start doing the tug of war and doing some of those events the biggest crowd goes down to the north end of, of the polo field to watch them go and, and compete and those guys get after it they have a great time it's a good opportunity for uh, those guys that don't always get a lot of credit up front to get uh, in the spotlight so we're excited to have 18 teams out here competing in battle lines today and, 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 Co and coach lodge for you you know i mean you, you, you your qb1 uh luke brucker i mean he, he was dropping dimes all day out there i mean what, what does it say for y'all in the program you know especially you know y'all y'all were you know you, you, you won the state championship two years ago got you know and then, then last year you know it was like he came up short but uh this year uh with the new classifications, you know, y'all are going to be in class 4M, you know, I mean, it, it's, it's the, the challenge is set for y'all now. Yep. And what was it say for, 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 for Luke when he's been able to go out here and just be able to compete like he did this weekend? You know, Luke, Luke has had made enormous strides from uh, year one in our offense to year two. His understanding of the offense has really taken off. He's always had elite arm talent. And, uh, you know, now that he's understanding the game and it's slowing down for him a little bit, you know, I, I expect our offense to take, you know, enormous strides um, in the fall. Um, it all starts, you know, with the O-line, but then you have to have a quarter, uh, you know, quarterback trigger man and be able to get it done. Because if you don't have the quarterback, you, have you, you ain't, you, you right. ain't getting to the receivers, which I did notice that Goldie was out. He wasn't playing this weekend. So, I mean, I mean, even for even for Goldie to be a thing, he was still fine. Luke was still finding his guys. Right. You know, we, we, we try to beat defense first, um, you know, and then try to find out how we can get our, our best guy there. Um, you know, I think that says something about our team and the depth that we have um, for a guy like that to not be in the game. Um, not only was it Goldie, we, were lose, we, we lost another good receiver um, and didn't have him this weekend, too. So two of the top five were out, um, you know, still found a way to get it done. Uh, congratulations, Coach Lodge. And, uh, Will, uh, uh, congratulations on another great uh, tournament here, tournament experience here in the Villages. Uh, of course, uh, for, for those who, for 2023, uh, get ready because that's going to come around the block real quick. I'll tell you that right now. But first, uh, get, make sure you, uh, get, if you're not a member, get become a member when the membership period opens up in January. You want to do that, become a member of the FA 7 v 7 a It's definitely worth the uh, the advantages to, to have that, uh, be able to pick up the football in the offseason. So appreciate it, Will. Appreciate Thanks, it, Coach Lodge. Thank you very much. Thank you. Nice, guys. Thank you.